Uh, oh my gosh, yo guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island. I'm stuck with you guys and we're always smiling. Currently, right now, by the river um, with my two dogs, well, two of them, uh, with Mochaccino and with um, Vanilla. Uh, Vanilla's first time going to the river, but anyway, um, in today's video, I'm going to be cooking a couple stuff, um, but the first thing I'm going to be doing today is going to be something that I always want to do for quite some time, which is a ital sip or rasta soup, whatever you want to call it, which pretty much is like a vegan dish, it's a soup, um, no meat at all. By right, ital um, has no salt in it, but for me, I'm going to add a bit of salt because, yeah, it takes some time to wean yourself off of salt, but the salt I'm going to be using is going to be um, pink Himalayan salt, which is one of the best salts you can use. If you're gonna use salt, use the best. So that's gonna be the video today. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. For me, I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, by the river, it's just so cool. It's a vibe. All right, I already got some firewood. So first thing we'll do is just to, um, you know, start a quick fire. I'm just trying to quickly test fit the pot, make sure so it can fit comfortably. And it seems pretty good. If it needs anything, I could just readjust it anyway. Fire started, but you know the, the flooring is a bit wet, so trying to get it as hot as possible so it doesn't go down. Guys, so in the pot I have some um, broad beans, red peas and gungu peas. You don't know it's a soup so try to get it as much protein as I can see that there's no meat in there. And um, yeah, I'm going to wait till that boil down a little bit and in the meantime I'm going to cut up some, you know, some pumpkin, potato, you know, anything I can drop in there, you know, to add some food and then make some dumpling. bubbling up nice and good all right so I've got to drop these in cut them up and do it real quick right Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is to crack this coconut open. Um, yeah, it's $192 for this little coconut here. Hopefully it's not spoiled. Um, then I'm going to grate it and make some coconut milk so I can drop it into the pot. Then I'll season up the pot. I'll add things like ginger, scallion, all those stuff into it, salt, whatever. And yeah, that will be a whole vibe. Um, it's a little bit new for me. Yeah, everybody's pretty much quiet. Vanilla bat there, mocha there. Um, it's a new experience for us, well not cooking by a river because we have cooked by a river but it's the first time cooking by a river by myself and by this river. Um, there was some traffic walking through here a couple of times um, to either use a river or whatever the case is. So that was a bit strange, you know, trying to film and cook at the same time. But yo, the more we do this, the better we're going to get. 
Um, but anyway, let's get to this cooking. The last thing I'm going to have to do, as I said, is just to season the pot and we should be good to go. Dogs of coconut mocha, come on. Just didn't knock it out. Come. Go and bubble up nice, drop in some of them seeds in here. Yeah. Yep, it's a good look. Oh, guys, yo, today's not even a good day. I forgot a couple stuff. I forgot. When I saw this, I realized I forgot the, the pumpkin in the fridge and also the time. I could run back home, but it's going to be a waste of time. So I'm just going to rely on the potatoes alone. I won't remove the skin so I can add more body to the soup. Um, it would have been nice to have okra in there, but it's whatever. Um, then I'm going to make some dumpling and then um, taste it to make sure it's fully seasoned. And then that should be it. Now, I hope you guys remember whenever you are doing your own soup, you can do it any way you want. Put any food in there that you like. If you don't like dumpling, then don't put dumpling. If you like sweet potatoes, then put sweet potatoes. All right, cool. At least one thing I could not leave off this thing is dumpling. Could not leave out the dumpling. It wouldn't be soup without dumpling for me, personally. Now here's a trick that I do. Um, here's a trick that I do. I use a fork to start out, right? So that way, 
your fingers don't get extremely sticky. Add a little bit more flour. I remember one of my friends told me about this trick and I was like, no, no, I need that. I say I need dumpling. Like I know some people are going to be commenting. But trust me, when I started doing it, I was, I was like, all right, cool, this made sense. Anyway. So I did that. I know when it's more malleable without really sticking to my fingers. Now I can start using my fingers, right? So it's not that you're not going to use your fingers at all. You just don't want it to be super sticky. If it works for you, works for you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's fine. Alright, so the dumplings are pretty much done. So what I'm going to do, to make this easier, I'm going to pre-roll them. You guys don't even know how hard it is to cook and film yourself at the same time trying to find the right camera angles and all that crap it's it's not the easiest that's why because i wanted to do something else today another dish but i can't do it until tomorrow because i had to come down here and you know search for you know sticks and stuff like that and you know make sure the plate is right find the best spot a whole bunch of stuff but I'm gonna be doing more videos. I'll come back down here tomorrow. So the more I do it in this particular area, the better I'll get and you know, more prepared. Drop a little piece of cinnamon stick, just extra flavor, you know. And I have a little bit of parsley here, not parsley, sorry, oregano. Seeing that I left out the thyme, I'm gonna throw it in there just to add, you know, more flavor to it. Oh, yo. So look at that. Cut off a little onion, half of an onion. Don't know, you make soup it up a full of flavor straight. Alright, that should be enough. I won't put half, that's good. Alright, it's looking good. So basically what I go do next is as soon as this boils out more like the potatoes boil out, some of the yams, um, some of the carrots. I'm gonna smash them a bit so we can add more body to the soup. Let the soup boil down a bit more because I don't like my soup like this. Like a running water. Some people like it. Me personally now. Nah. So I might I cook some more and just go on with a vibe while we do that. Alright, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of the pink Himalayan salt to it. Just a little. Alright, so let me go for my tasting spoon. Give us a little taste. See how the flavors are building. Oh yo, that ginger with the um, what you call it, cinnamon stick? Yo, it's a vibe bro. It tastes good already. Um, soup still look a bit long. So as I said, when it get ready, I can mash it down some bit. But for now, do that. Um, do a bit of cleaning up, wash up some stuff. And um, yeah. So in truth, Mocha and I today should have been working on, um, what should we be doing? Yeah, a whole fried chicken as well today with some rice and peas, but as I said, it was our first time being here, so it's a bit tricky um, to do that. Plus, I have the dogs, so I have to be monitoring them as, monitoring them as well. 
but um in the next video that i'll be doing it's going to definitely be um some whole fried chicken with um rice and peas and some fried plant it's going to be a vibe um but yeah right now i'm just going to pack up the stuff them take them up and then yo it's a hike going up it's like maybe a 400 meter hike going up and then we can um oh i'm gonna give them a shower as well yeah that's gonna be the vibe Washing stuff in river water is just so cool. It's like, almost like a dishwasher, the power of the river coming down and just pushing out the debris from it is so cool. Alright, those are clean. Guys, I can't believe I actually had the stuff here. I had the okra and everything. Um, but the soup has stiffened up really nicely. I don't need to um, put the pumpkin in there I brought turnips as well. I need to bring that put that in there as well I mean the soup is perfectly fine, but I'm gonna add some okra. I need some greens in there So and okra cooks really quickly anyway, so I'll drop that thing at the last moment So if you guys can hear like I look at the bubbles see how thick they appear so it's not as water as before Definitely looking good and I haven't even crushed the potatoes as yet so Yo, it tastes really good. Trust me, guys. Alright, have the okra them well cut up and thing. Yo, look at that bubble nice, man. Oh, Lord. So I cut them kind of big. So that way. They don't cook out too easy. Super nice and thick and rich. even think I need I need to mash no potato or nothing and leave it in there same way because if I mash it look at that so I see one and two bottles by the river so I'll pick them up you know because can't be cooking around here and seeing all these stuff like cocos bag and bottle and you know share it so Whatever I see really quick, I'll set them up on, you know, speed up my look at the ends, cause love Ronnie. Ronnie just has vibe. Alright, I think this is done. The okras look like they're done. And everything else I'm sure is done. It's been on the pot for a while. On the fire for a while, sorry. So let's dig in. So thus far, this is just the food that's shared out so far. You know, just to show you what's exactly inside. Yeah. And um, show some of the soup on top of it and should be good. Yo, I'm so excited about this. Yo. This is rich, you know, man. In Zemanite and everything. Oh, yes. Wow. This is how I like my soup. Don't like it water. Mm. Yes. She was up top all this time until she smelled the soup. Well, I know you want some, right? <laughs> Trust me, it has been a super long day. I didn't get to show you guys that there's a river, not a river, but like a little pool around there that people use and shower. So um, I'm gonna go take a shower there at the moment, but I'm gonna end the video here. Um, tomorrow I'll be back, um, better than before tomorrow. You know, getting used to this whole vibe out here, you know, doing cooking at this spot. 
and um, I already told you what's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be doing um, a whole fried chicken with rice and peas and some plants. And um, yeah, it's going to be a vibe. I haven't eaten anything all day except that soup just now, which was, yo, it was so good. But I say that to say, I'm going to be doing a lot of outdoor cooking this year because I want to start feeding myself, you know. For the past year, I was, you know, going to KFC a lot, Burger King a lot because it was the fastest thing I could do and I was working, 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 working. But this year, you know, doing YouTube, I want to cook for myself, do travels as well. So there's still going to be travel vlogs, don't worry about that. But anyway guys, um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Remember you see things, love, nature, adaptation, and always remember, keep the link.